Here is an application problem on derivatives. Maximum volume of cylinder inscribed in a cone. The height of a cone is 8 meters and the radius of its base is 6 meters. Find the dimensions of a cylinder with maximum volume that could be constructed inside the cone. So here we have a sketch of the situation. We have a cone which is has a radius of 6 and height of 8 meters. Now we need to find the maximum volume of a cylinder which could be enclosed within this cone, right? So I like you to make an attempt to solve this and then look into my solution. Now here, what is the volume of a cylinder? We know volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. Now as soon as we write this expression, we have got two variables. So whenever we have two variables, we need to find relation between them. So whenever you do a question based on cone, then the relation can be found with the help of similar triangles, right? So if you look into this diagram, we have similar triangles. One is the big triangle, let's say AOB and then a, C, D. So if you check these two triangles, they have parallel lines here and they are similar indeed. Now if the triangles are similar, then the ratio of the sides is constant and that helps us to relate R with H. Right? So here the cylinder height, let this be H. So when I write R, H here, it means this side from here to here is R, the radius of the cylinder and let the height of this cylinder be H. Now this height is H then the distance from A to C will indeed be 8 minus H. So this distance will be 8. 8 is the total distance minus H. Right? So that becomes A to C distance. Now, in the similar triangles, we can write down the ratios. So the so big triangle AOB, we know triangle AOB is similar to triangle ACD. Since they are similar, so AO, which is 8 centimeters, 8 meters, over OB, which is 6, should be equal to a small, this is the height, which is 8 minus H over R. Right? Now, so from here, we get relation between R and H. So we can write what H is in terms of R, then we'll substitute here H, we'll have the volume in terms of radius. So let's write. So we'll cross multiply. So we get 8 over 6 is 4 over 3. So we get 4 over 3 R equals to 8 minus H and H is equals to 8 minus 4 over 3 R. So that is the relation. Now we'll substitute this value of H. So let's write down our equation numbers. Right. So we have equation 1 which is the volume. Equation 2 which relates height with radius. So we'll replace this height with the given value in R. So we get volume in terms of R now. We can write this as pi R square and height is 8 minus 4 over 3 R. So that is our function. Now once we have volume in terms of radius we can differentiate volume with respect to radius. So if we differentiate volume with respect to radius, we can adopt product rule here, or we can expand and then write down. Either way, it's okay. So let's expand first and write down, maybe easier. So we get 8 pi r square minus 4 over 3 pi r cube. So that is an expression for v in terms of r. Now, let's find out. We'll do on this side. So, we have volume with respect to radius equals to 8 pi r square minus 4 over 3 pi r cube. Now, what is V dash equals to? V dash equals to 8 times 2, 16 pi r minus 4 over 3 times 3 pi r square, right? Which is 16 pi r minus 3 and 3 cancels out, 4 
pi r square. Now for the critical number, vr dash should be equal to 0. So let's equate it to 0 and find the value of r which should be giving us the maximum volume. So we can factor the right side. So r is common, pi is common, 4. So 4 pi r is common factor. We are left with 4 minus r. 4 minus r. So either for radius of 0, we get maximum volume, or radius of 4, we get maximum rate of change. So the critical number is for r equals to either 0 or r equals to 4, right? Now, if I have r as 0, then the volume is 0. So indeed, it is not a maximum. It could be minimum, right? For r equals to 4, we can get a maximum value. Now, we should check whether it is indeed a maximum value or not. We can do this test with the help of first derivative itself, that is v dash r. So for that, we know v dash r is actually equals to 4 pi r within brackets 4 minus r. Now if r is more than 4, then this quantity will be negative, right? So this is a point where r is 4. If I have r more than 4, then v dash r is going to be negative. That means it will be negative, right, in this region. But if r is less than 4, in that case, this quantity will be positive and v dash r will thereby be positive. So v dash r is increasing when r is less than 4 and decreasing thereafter. And we know at r equals to 4, it is 0. Therefore, we have a maximum at r equals to 4. So that is how we get the maximum volume, which can be enclosed in the cone. Now to find the volume, what we can do is, it says actually find the dimensions of the cylinder with maximum volume that could be constructed in the cone. So we already got the radius. Now when we have the radius, we can plug in radius and find height. Right? So we substitute this value, which is in equation 2. So we get height equals to 8 minus 4 over 3 times r which is 4. So it is 16 over 3. So approximately, so we'll multiply this by 8 by 3. So you get 24 minus 16 over 3. That is the height. That gives us 8 over 3. So the height is 8 over 3 and the radius is 4 meters in this case. So we can write down here as our answer dimensions of cylinder, right? So it has a height equals to 8 over 3 meters and radius equals to 4 meters. So that is the answer, right? So that is how we are going to do these kinds of questions. So important thing here is to relate height and radius with the help of an equation. And whenever you have cones involved, Pythagorean theorem and similar triangles help you out. Okay, thank you.